New York. New York State Toy Hall. Buffalo. Okay, I went to Buffalo, New York, and I picked up some, whoa, 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 some pretty awesome things. There was an incident that happened when I returned, but I will probably save that for maybe a story time or something. I just can't put the stuff away until I do a haul. I feel like I am going to cut back on toy buying. I've been doing pretty okay, even though I did buy a couple things yesterday. But I'm going to focus on what I got in New York. I hope I put it all together properly, but maybe I didn't. Okay, Target, first of all. Is there a dent in this box? There's a dent in this box. These are all the same, which is kind of crazy, but it is a retro toy. I think I should always, always get anything that's retro. And despite them being exactly the same, I think it was the right choice to get these. I thought the boxes were perfect, but there is a dent. That probably might have happened in the travels. Because I have to take a bus and stuff to go to... It's a special bus tour. I did record footage of me on this tour. Not so much. So I don't know if I'm going to actually use it as a vlog. But that was a great find. Those Bridge Direct, which they have changed names. Oh, it still says the bridge on here. But I think it has a different name now. Only available at Target. We can't get these in Canada. And $10 each, I think, is an amazing price. And like I said, I should always, always buy retro toys. That should be first and foremost. I'm not going to block my light by sticking that stuff up there. A Target. What else did I get at Target? This. Because these are only available at Target. Unfortunately, I still am missing Ben. Ben's elf horn. <sighs> and I didn't buy the family. Hopefully one day I find him. Like, they were restocked and they were. I saw her at lots of stores. So, maybe. Maybe I'll get the rest of those. These I also found at Target. These new Minecraft. Now, I only got the four new characters. I did not get Alex and Steve because they were different and they were painted differently. But I gotta take it careful. But this is the new series. I probably should have opened those right away because I know that kids want to see those for sure. Here's something I also got from Target. This Barbie and the Rockers. The Barbie and the Rockers did show up at a store called Superstore in Canada. So I was able to get the basic ones. She, however, was only available at Target. So picked her up. She's definitely unique. I don't love these. I don't know why I'm getting them and I paid a lot for her. Not on sale. The drum set's really cool. The pants, she is really cool. I don't love her, but she's definitely a special, weird and unusual doll. So this mini car, which I did learn when I came back is available on Amazon Canada. So I could have gotten it from there, but I had never seen it before. And this is my favorite line of 2017. They have recently come out with single figures. See, I have all those, which have different hands so they can hold accessories and stuff and I really want to buy them but I stopped myself from getting those. I think these are perfect toys and I love them. So I was happy to find a new thing of that. I believe that is it for Target. Then I went to Toys R Us and Flugels. The last time I was in the States I did get the multi-pack of Flugels which comes with the characters and I really regretted not buying these. Now I saw a lot of people posting these in close out sales for Toys R Us so that really excited me that they were still available. Basically this was one of the main reasons I went because I regretted not getting the spaceships. Like with the Mickey Mouse sets I think that these are a perfect toy. So cute. I love the designs of these. Not a popular toy, not something that people are going to jump to watching my videos on. But I got these for me, and that is what I do here on this channel. I get the toys that I like. What else did I find at Toys R Us? 
the Scooby-Doo stuff. I had the, the medium vehicles in my package as well for these. So there's two other sets. And I probably should have got just Scooby... SpongeBob! <laughs> I should have just got the Scooby-Doo stuff and got the whole collection of Scooby-Doo stuff because it seems to be a Toys R Us USA exclusive because we haven't gotten them here in Canada. But I had so much and I was running late and I already had surpassed my limit. In fact, I bought so many toys in the States that I had to pay taxes on return which they do when you spend a whole lot of money. But And I also got the Spongebob pack, which I think might be the only Spongebob pack that I didn't have. I think I might have every figure pack that was ever put out by them. And I do have a few cars. I'm not sure I have any of the play sets. Some of the larger vehicles and the medium-sized vehicles and that. And it doesn't seem like a lot of stuff from Toys R Us because it was just the Flugels, the Imagine Next, and these ones. And I thought I got them all, but I did not get them all. I'm missing one. I'm missing a marshmallow one. But I got her, and her, and her, and her, and her, and this, and her, and her. So... I now have the whole set of single carded ones, which I don't think I want to take out of their boxes because they display so nicely in there. So I don't think I will, but I'm missing one. Now, one of the stores called Mastermind in Canada, I have discovered has this series four, I believe it is. So I think I'm gonna go there tomorrow and see if I can find Marshmallow Head to make sure that I have the complete set. And then I can finally do a video which says, here's the total collection of single carded happy places until they come out with new ones. I just think they're really cute and I really like how they look in their boxes. I think you saw that. And then I got an extra one of these. I saw one of these blind bags at Kmart in a bin and I felt it. And I felt right away that it was the astronaut. And I had already traded for a full set of six of these with somebody from the States. So I already have the full collection. But the astronaut is really special to me because it is a exact duplicate of, well not an exact duplicate, but it is totally 100% inspired from Adventure People, even down to the alien that comes with it. And uh, Adventure People are my holy grail of toy collecting, so. And that takes us to Walmart, where I found these two. Another reason why I went to the States you can't get these in Canada. I believe he is on Amazon, but at a higher price. I looked all through the regular Barbies, couldn't find them, I was really upset. And I looked and saw this over to the side, had a $5 stamp on it, amazing. We never know why Walmart clearances some of their things. They, I think they mix things up a lot and think that things are old that are new. Anyway, when I rang it out, it came to two fifty. dollars so even better score. I haven't gotten any of the Babysitting Club, those are the four that we do get in Canada. This guy, not in our case assortments. I'm going to take off his head and give him a regular body. I don't like these preteen bodies. He's going to get buffed up, that guy. These Matchbox cars I found. Now, I'm not sure if they ever showed up in Canada. The Jeep series. I grabbed all of the Jeeps that I liked. I don't think I've ever seen these in Canada. I really like this. I might have them. I noticed that some of these have been repainted and are in different sets. I don't really like this black one, but I think it was really cheap. I think it was only a dollar each, which usually these special series cost about five dollars or something. I'm happy to get those. I found lots of different outfits. It's so strange about these outfits because they have multiple packs of certain ones and they'll have like 20 of them and they'll be all of the same ones and then they'll have these special outfits for the boys I'm talking and there's only going to be one of them and they'll have like eight different outfits and it's such a struggle and I was having so much time I was going to get them all but another thing is that they're priced at ten dollars and that's the Canadian price so if I buy them there that's like me paying fifteen dollars for them Canadian so it is better for me to buy them when I see them in Canada, but 
dinosaur pajamas I couldn't pass up. And also, once you see them, you might not ever see them again. I might have seen these dinosaur pajamas once in Vancouver, Canada when I was visiting and really wrong that I didn't buy it. Anyway, the Lukes look great in these. And I do have one of these My Life As Boy dolls now, so I've got lots of people and I have a Raphael from our generation, so lots of people can wear these outfits. I chose the best, a safari one and a dino one, come on. And a little heads up for my next toy haul, latest in Canada, I, yesterday I just got a lifeguard one. So I definitely overpaid on these, but you never know if you're ever going to see them again. Is that everything? I didn't even know that was my last thing. It seems like I bought a lot more, and I did. I bought lots of other stuff for some friends. So I guess, I guess that's great, but okay. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> that was my New York haul. Now I have to set up some kind of thumbnail here. I think we'll put up a pony and a Barbie and the Rockers. And... Oh, I didn't show you. <laughs> this is what I didn't show you. Sparkle Girls outfits. So I got some of these, which I think will be great for giving misfits some outfits. Yay! Amazing toy haul! It's a good thing I bought duplicates of things. Because then you can see one of everything that I bought. Sparkle Girls! Hey, I hope you like this toy haul. Remember to click like and then comment and subscribe and do all of that wonderful stuff. I really love that you've come here to watch my videos. You're my favorite person in the world. Thank you. I really appreciate that like you just gave me. Thanks. Hey, why don't you check out some of these other videos? Now I get to put this stuff away.